How's it going everyone, Code Creator, and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing part 2 on the, on the Discord bot hosting series. Now if you guys didn't watch part 1, link will be in the description, make sure you watch it, or there will be a, a card up on the top of the screen. Make sure you guys watch that video first before you watch the second one. But if you did check out the first part and you're waiting for the second one, here we go. Here's part two of Discord Bot 24-7 hosting. I hope you enjoy. Alright, so once you got your code template from last part and you're ready for part two, here's where we're going to start. You're going to want to go to the, the plus, the add file button. And you're gonna and then and then you're going to want to name the file hostbot.py. Go in there, and then you're going to want to start by doing from Flask import Flask. On line two, you're going to do from threading space import thread. Skip to line four by doing a tab. And then you're going to want uh, two tabs, sorry. Then you do app space equals space flask with a brackets and single quotation marks. Do two tabs, then you're going to want to do at app dot root with two brackets, then single quotation marks and a forward slash. <clears throat> On to line seven, you're going to do def space main with two brackets closing and a colon press enter then you're going to want to do tab return with quotation marks saying your bot is ready <clears throat> do two tabs go back to the start then do def run with two brackets and a colon do two tabs after an enter then you do you're going to do app dot run with brackets saying host equals quotation marks 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0.0.0 comma space port equals 8000 closing bracket on line 13 you're going to do want to do uh you're going to want tab all the way back then you're going to want to do two enters def space keep underscore alive with two brackets and a colon do two tabs then you're going to want to do online 14 server space equals space thread with two brackets target equals run do another enter then you're going to do server dot start with two brackets all right so you're going to start by going to packages and then type in the word flask and then the first one should be the right one It'll be a simple framework for building. Make sure you click on that one. And then you'll see a plus button. What you're going to do is click that plus button for Flask. And then you'll see on the side, it's going to do a whole bunch of stuff on the side. And if you can see all this on the side that's happening right now, that means it's installing Flask into your code. So this should go on, so this should go on for about a minute. And once it's done, you're going to see a minus button beside flask, meaning that it's done. So that way you'll know that it's successfully installed. Once you have successfully installed flask, you're going to go back to your files section on the, on the top left. Then you're going to go to main.py. And now we're going to change some, st and now we're going to change some stuff on main.py. You're going to start by doing two enters, then on line three, you're going to do import space host bot. On line four, you're going to do from host bot space import space keep underscore alive. Then you're going to move to line 18, then do keep underscore alive with two brackets. And then on line 19, just make sure you put in your bot token. Make sure it doesn't say just your token. Make sure we put that so you know to put your actual bot token from Discord Developer Portal. Link will be in the description. And once you do that, and it says your bot is ready, 
when you click when you click run you're going to see your bot is ready once it's ready you're going to click on refresh refresh your page and if you did this correctly you should have a link at the top saying with a white box saying your bot is ready all right so once you've done everything on repel.it you're going to go to a new website which will make it host what we want it to host forever so we're going to go into a website called uptime robot Head to that website, link will also be in the description. If you guys don't want to type it in, link in the description. It's called Uptime Robot. And once you get to this page, you're going to click on Go to Dashboard. And then you'll see a button that says Add New Monitor. Add New Monitor. Click that. And then you're going to select HTTPS as your monitor type. Now your, now your URL or IP is going to be the link that was on repel.it so if you go back to repel.it the link that says is that link that is right above your bot is ready in the white box is the link that you're going to copy then you're going to bring that over to the website and you're going to bring that over to the website and paste that where it says url and then for friendly name you can do whatever name we want we'll just do uh youtube test bot i guess and then for monitoring interval, make sure to set it for every 25 minutes because Repel.it usually keeps a bot online for 30 to 1 hour max, but we want it to stay online forever. So what we're going to do, it's going to ping the bot every 25 minutes so that way the bot won't go offline because it's being pinged. So it's almost like you're going on the website but this monitor website is doing it for you so you don't have to do it over and over continually going on the website and that's the power of uptime robot once you uh, once you once you once you filled out all the information you can click on create new monitor and then click it one more time it should be an orange button click it one more time and then you'll see right at the top right below where it says add new monitor you'll see your youtube test bot now sometimes it takes a little while for the bot to go actually go up so sometimes it can take up to seven hours but for our test bot from a previous video that we tested before we did cc bot it took only two minutes so as you can oh there and there we go as you can see youtube test bot has already gone online and it's ready to go and there you go everyone that is how to host your discord bot 24 7 using repel.it and uptime robot completely free 2020 i hope you enjoyed if you guys did enjoy the video hit the subscribe button turn on notifications we'll be posting lots more hit the, the hit the subscribe button because it turns out that only two percent of you guys that watch our videos are subscribed so if you guys could hit that subscribe button try and get us to 1k i would hope that's our goal for our, that's our first goal. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.